protein metabolism. Protein metabolism is a description of the physical and chemical processes that cause both the building or synthesis of amino acids into protein and the breakdown or catabolism of protein into amino acids. There are two different types of metabolism, which is anabolism and catabolism. Metabolic pathway, each pathway are defined by the enzyme. So, the basic of unit of any pathway is the enzyme that come together. There is a pathway consists of three enzymes. This pathway begin by acting on substrate A and making the final product D. But <clears throat> on the way, A need to interact with enzyme 1 through the active site. A is converted into product B by enzyme 1. B being a product by enzyme 1. Also the substrate. A very specific substrate for enzyme 2. Now, B is interact with enzyme 2 to convert into product C. Product C likewise is the substrate for enzyme 3. Again, after going through the chemical reaction, C is converted to D, which is our final product by enzyme 3. Now, had convert all the A substrate to product D. That's all. Now let us see the catabolic pathway. Catabolic pathway takes a large molecule and breaks them off into smaller ones. I'm showing you some food nutrients. It is going to go through catabolic pathway. This pathway is going to take this big molecule and break them off into smaller molecule. Now, with catabolic pathway has in common is by breaking chemical bonds to make smaller molecule. They are going to release energy, chemical energy, and that is going to in the form of ATP. Some energy are going to release, but that is unusable. That it is given off as heat. So that is catabolism. And talk about anabolism. Anabolism is goes to anabolic mm -hmm. pathway. Anabolic pathway is the pathway with Small molecules with the aid of system of ATP and D. We gonna convert these small molecules to the larger macromolecules. So this case required energy that was provided by catabolic pathway. So what I want you to remember that catabolism breaks down large molecules to small molecules, plus making the ATP. Anabolic pathway takes that energy along with the small molecules converts them to large molecules. So I want you to realize that catabolism and metabolism are somewhat intertwined. There is another picture that further show the same thing. Basically, it's showing that catabolism is entering the cells together with ATP. The ATP is going to be taken out by anabolism or anabolic pathway and is going to convert that ATP back to ADP so that will utilize the energy and this slide show is basically the recycle that they are going through they are going to make ATP and then you are going to utilize the energy that is trapped into that molecule by doing that, you will convert ATP to ADP and also an inorganic phosphate. This inorganic phosphate need to then be chemically bonded back to ATP through catabolic pathway. So this energy is going to cycle back and forth. So let's talk about how molecules of ATP and ADP look like. Okay, we 
here is the ATP, adenosine triphosphate. We call it triphosphate because they have three phosphate groups. Look at these negative charges. There are four negative charges. Okay. Now you remember from chemistry, negative charges repel each other. So just think all this energy that is required to keep these oxygen so close to each other. Light is the energy that traps into the molecule, ATP. These molecules very important to make an anabolic reaction so that you can make all the macromolecules that all the cells need. Now, when ATP comes in, we take this part here and break it. That's going to give you ADP. And this is your inorganic phosphate. So, basically, you break one covalent bond right here. And so, you're going to have your molecules ADP and inorganic phosphate. So, you're going to put more energy to make that bond again. The energy is going to come from catabolic reaction. So, this ATP, you feel it again. Again, it's the currency of our cells. It's the energy that the cells recognize. That's it for the brief explanation on catabolic and anabolic pathways.